Well, welcome back to another episode of Shit, I'm 30. I'm your host, Carla, and we're doing things a little bit different today. We're recording in an actual studio. Nice studio, too. Yeah, it's like it has the real padding, how you're supposed to have it. Yeah. You know, I have a little padding at home <laughs> in my studio. <laughs> Looks good. Yes, I'm bringing Carla back. What's up, you guys? And we have a really special guest today. I'm really excited. Thank you for coming uh, and no saying problem. yes. How we have doing? Ricky. Yes, Ricky Padilla. Ricky Padilla. Formerly from Power 95.3, now Star 94.5. Yes. So for people that might not know, I have some a lot of listeners that aren't from Orlando. Can you tell them who you are and what you do? All right. So I've been in Orlando radio for quite some time. I just recently switched radio stations to Star 94.5. Um, Orlando's been familiar with that demographic as being an maybe a little bit older and R&B-ish, and in essence now we're two radio stations. So from like 10 to 7, it's a little slower, and then from 7 to 11, we pick up the pace. Hey, we and get yeah, to twerking. turn up, and <laughs> you know, shout out my brother DJ Nasty. Yes. We have a show together, so it's a lot of fun over there. I love it. Um, so before we, have you heard the show before? I caught snippets because I was, I was like, yeah, I, I'm like, yeah, they set me up. <laughs> and now I saw Carly here. I'm like, oh, this is set up for real now. <laughs> There's no setup. There's no setup. So basically, I turned 30, what, a year ago now? I'm 31 now. Uh-huh. And things were different. And I'm like, we have, our train of thought changes what we like, what we don't like. And I'm like, we're not old, but we're also not in our 20s. And yeah. there's things that change. So we're going to talk about some stuff like that. But let's do a quick icebreaker. Let's do a what would you rather. Okay. Um, like little game. Okay, so I'll start off with, would you rather, Carla, be fine as fuck, but a little dumb and stupid, or be really, really smart, but kind of ugly? Um, I would say smart and kind of ugly. <laughs> That's I'm a lie. Ugly. I'm, I'm <laughs> She's ugly. lying. I'm ugly, <laughs> but I'm, I know what I'm talking about. That's what cute bitches say. Yeah. <laughs> what would you do? What would you choose? Give it to me again. So you can be fine as fuck, but dumb and stupid, or really smart, but kind of ugly? I'd say really smart, because then you'd be able to make a lot of money, and then <laughs> with a lot of money, you'll have a you, baddie. <laughs> right. And you can even get some plastic surgery nowadays. Yeah. Hey, yeah. have some money, get your nose done. Whatever case. Hey, whatever it is. Okay, so would you rather keep, you can only keep one, Google, Facebook, Instagram, or Snapchat. You have to get rid of the rest. I swear to God, this is deja vu. I had this in my dream. I'm Instagram all day. I don't even... Facebook, to me, the way the algorithm is now, I don't see a lot of people's stuff. They don't see my stuff. On Facebook? Uh, yeah, I got 5,000. I got two pages on uh, <laughs> Facebook. Both of them got 5,000, because that's the max. And I be having, like, seven likes on a post. And, like, me too! <laughs> so, like, it's not... Like, people are not seeing what I post on Facebook, so I stay with the Instagram. But you know what I realized? That people on Facebook don't really like pictures. They go for these comments. I don't go on Facebook, because I feel like... People don't really like anything. There has yeah. no likes. But I put a question about what we're going to talk about today, and it has 90-something <laughs> comments. Yep. People arguing on there. I don't know who these people are. And yeah. I'm like, y'all have no lives. Nope. But no. hey, it's good for these polls. Yeah, that's exactly what it's good for. But I would keep Instagram, too. Yeah, Instagram I like pictures and Insta stories. What Damn, about I would keep Google. Google? Yeah, I'm a Google fanatic. I Google everything. Instagram, I, I mean, I love Instagram, but it's just... The same thing, the algorithm, I'm like, I don't see nobody's shit. I have to go type in your name. That's too much. Loopholes. I said Google. I didn't say anything about Yahoo. Ooh, <laughs> Yahoo's ooh, still around. See? So I'm keeping my you Instagram. Gotta be quicker than that. Right. Another one. Would you rather have a partner that's great in bed? You love everything they do, but has a lot of experience, if you know what I mean, um, <sighs> prior to you. Or a partner that it's okay, you get off, but you're the only person they've been with only person I've been with. <laughs> yeah? That's a, yeah, because you know, they can't compare. you like, you always going to be the beast. There's yeah, nobody else to compare they're with. They're just okay. I'm okay with that. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Carla? I'm going to need that motherfucker to switch, like, put me upside down. Oh, so you want experience? She wants experience. She wants to be, que la, que te <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think I want the experience, too. It's, who cares about their past? Yeah. Clearly, Ricky does. <laughs> Ricky no cares. Comment. I'm just, uh, you know. Okay, would you rather have your significant other be a social butterfly, have tons of friends, get along with everyone, or one that's socially awkward and likes to stay home? Antisocial. I'll be honest, I don't really care because I've had both situations, so to me it's it doesn't really matter, especially what I do in a living. Like for a living, you know, I'm always around people. You're the social butterfly. Yeah, so it's like how can I say no? Don't do that, you know what I'm saying? So But don't they say opposites attract, so you're okay with someone being that out there like to have be as much of a outgoing person as you are? Yeah, I had somebody that was 
how do you explain it in what I sound like crazy? I had somebody that was, um, I'll just say it. I dated a girl that was uh, uh, a model in, in a bunch of. Uh, an Instagram model? No, no, no. <laughs> when, <laughs> She's Instagram a real was, model. Yeah, yeah. No, not even like that, but I'm just saying she was super popping in all the music videos, right? Oh, okay. And so she was really known. And, okay. you know, I was coming up in the radio game, and at that time, she was getting flown all, all over the place. And I was okay with it. Flown out to do what? Host parties all over the place, oh. videos, yeah. Boy, you said host, I heard nah. ho. I said, <laughs> nah. <laughs> She's going nah. out I mean. So she was all over the place, and I, I didn't have a problem with it because she was out there getting a check and, you know, doing what she needed to do. So hmm. I've been on both situations, and, you know, there's never one that I had geared to, like, and be like, okay, that's what I really like. It was, it's whatever. Okay, you know? that's good because that, that ties into what the topic is, which is platonic relationships. Hmm. And I wanted to bring you on because... I mean, I've known you now for a while, and I know you from being out. There mm -hmm. are girls around you all the time, and you know a lot of people, mm -hmm. girls and guys, because I yeah. feel like guys are around just as much. So it is what is a platonic relationship or a friendship? And according to Google Dictionary, which you didn't give up, Carla, um, it's platonic love and platonic friendships are marked by the absence of physical or sexual desire. Then another one was relationships that are char characterized by an absence of romance, romance or sex. This sense alludes to Plato's belief that love between people could be strong as to transcend physical attachments. So, do you currently have platonic friends of the opposite sex? I do. I mean, uh, you're going to have to break that platonic one more time. Like, Okay. It, yeah, I got to hear the exact definition because if I answer this question, then I sound crazy. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, let me give you the Google one first. Yeah, Google. Platonic love and platonic friendships uh -huh. are marked by the absence of physical or sexual desire. So that means you're just friends with a girl yeah. with no sex. Yeah. No, no sex, why? no kissing, no like, let me touch your booty every once in a while. No, but no. if she calls you like, yo, my tire popped, you're going to go over there and save her. So, right. So you've been around and you said, do you really think I'm fucking every... All thirty chicks that are around. No, I don't go yeah, home with you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happens. No, yeah. So you always have, you know, people like to me is um, how can I explain it? In my business right. as a promoter, it's always better to have a bunch of girls around. And you'll see on my Instagram that I always promote girls being at the club right. rather than a flyer because you might scroll down and you see a pretty girl. I've used Carla before as one of my... Carla with a K. Carla with a K with um, my Instagram for Saturday night. We work together on Saturday night. Right. I use her picture because that's going to grow more attention than anything else than me putting a flyer that says, hey, Ricky Padilla's... But this is work. Here. I'm yeah. talking about in your personal life. Do you have yeah. girls that you're text that... And you're in a relationship, right? Yeah. I come, oh, yeah. By the way, happy Father's Day. Thank it's you, thank you, thank you. That's right. Yeah. It's your first, is this like your first official? Because he's not uh, one yet. No, uh, yeah, oh, he's, he's one. He's 14 months. Yeah, so this is my he second is one. one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, anyways, happy thank Father's thank Day, you. baby. Um, so you have friend, female friends right now. Yes. That you text, that if they call you and say, hey, I need some advice on A, B, and C, you answer and you speak to them. Yeah, no, 100%. And you know what? I invite them to the club. And what I do is I also introduce my girl to them right. so that there's no kind of like you know what I'm saying like and if my girl doesn't go out that night I'll be like hey you know such and such came by the club tonight da -da -da. oh you remember her from this day that we all hung out I like she it. told me like cause there's been a situation where I've like ran up my tab you know I'm at like 200 already <laughs> and I'm like man I ain't, I'm, that's it I ain't buying nobody else drinks I'm ready to get out of here she's looking at your bank account no 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 no, oh. no she's telling me to to buy the girls that are there more shots like oh they're just sitting there go buy them a drink your girl is yes on oh, everything okay. I love she's like yo go buy them a drink and I'm like babe I'm already at like 200 like you know it, you know, I'm, I ain't trying to lose money tonight like keep going it's 130 like you know so you have rules like rules to um being friends with females or, or us so I feel like when you're in a, in a, it's mostly when you're in a relationship or when you want to keep it platonic, there should be certain rules there, like being conscious of what you say to them or your actions. Yeah. You know I, what I mean? I don't, I don't even know if they would say rules. It's just you know how somebody treats you. You know, you can tell, you know, like when they the start with the, yeah, with the mannerisms, the hands, and, and then also with the, why I only see you in the club. You get that a lot. In my, Situation. But are those really friends or are those just people you well, bring out to the club? That's no, when you try those to are like the girls that those they want to fuck. Yeah, that, that's when you try to distinguish who's who. Because oh, okay. you know, in my business, I got 
I don't know how many fucking numbers in my phone. Right. And they're all, hey, if you ever go downtown, hit me up. I'll make sure you guys are good. You always got to, you know, have people to come in. So when they start. Those are acquaintances. Yeah. I wouldn't say, like, really, I have friends in like that. Friend. You know, I got a few friends that I talk to <laughs> here and there. But to me, is everybody's. I gotta call them all friends. Like, yo, they but, good. Like, but no, a friend is someone that can literally call you and say, "Hey, like she said, my tire's flat, or I'm having like my parent just or sibling just passed away. Will you be there? Like, can, can I talk to you? That kind of friend. I can genuinely say that I don't have people call me up like that, and I think it's not because we're not friends in that level I think it's more I, out of like respect yeah like, I think they know, know that, that I, someone has a couple it's like yeah. let me not call her you know she yeah, like, get beat up or if, something if I really 99% had the bet would Ricky help me out yes he would but I think that they first off with everything that I got going on they're not you know you're not gonna just call somebody that's busy nonstop throughout the day from 8 in the morning to you know 1 in the morning right. and be like hey can you stop and come fix my flat tire like that'd be kind of rude like no one <laughs> like you know what I'm saying but if it's a friend friend you would so you, don't, so you don't have any close friends like that of the opposite sex no yeah I don't, I don't think I have honestly I haven't had a call like that in years <laughs> <laughs> except from your girl like come here yeah, and get it from me like, other than that yeah because I think to establish that there has to be boundaries. Yeah. So certain boundaries, if you're married or like you have your girlfriend, make sure that they know them. Carla, you have do you have any friends like that? Um, no. None? That I know of? No. Oh, I guess I'm the only one. Do you? I do. And I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I, but I feel like I don't see them because I did I did do a poll on Facebook and they're like, oh, it's all something's always gonna happen. But I'm like, if you're mature enough. Uh. If you're mature enough, it shouldn't happen. There's no, it just doesn't happen. Like, I'm not hanging out with you and all of a sudden your pants fell off and so did mine, I fell on your dick. Yeah. <laughs> never, yeah. <laughs> never. Oh, excuse happened. me, I fell inside you. <laughs> <laughs> like, going back, oh yeah, keep going now. Yeah. You know, it was a total accident. You're here now, fuck it. Right, it's not an accident like, oh, you know, things just happen when you get drunk. No, that comes into maturity as well. And at our age, I feel like you should be able to control your liquor. Oh, 100%. And there's time, you shouldn't be get that drunk where you just end up falling on a dick. Yeah. It doesn't happen that way. Or treat the opposite sex the same way you treat somebody of the, fe- of the same sex like yeah. the same way I hang out with you I can hang out with a guy and it's well no because I grab your tits sometimes I yeah. probably can't do that to a guy <laughs> I think I, I think I posted a shot no I think I know I posted a picture oh, I know. of Carla well, I didn't chop her head off it was just a good picture that I was, was on I figure out why her head wasn't in there was all tits yeah well it was all tits because I went to the um, tier page <laughs> the tier Instagram page and it had a girl and I didn't I oh didn't get see. the fuck out of here Ricky her name was on her chest I didn't even look at it I just said oh you know I'm a moet like, that's, no, some, that's some no, nice racks right there let me just I didn't even see shit. that part on uh, everything I love you know I work for Moet. So when right. I saw the picture, it was a Moet bottle that was being poured, and I was looking for a girl picture because, again, I don't post. You know, if you go through my Instagram, you, the, you'll you see it's a flyer random. for like six hours. I right. will not keep a flyer up there because there's no kind of engagement, and people None. just don't pay no mind to it. Right. So, you know, I saw the bottle on Moet, so it was, like a, it was like a double win for me because I get to promote tier that night. It was a tier night. And, and then, then on top of that, I get the pro more. I swear on my son, I didn't even know it was her. <laughs> and so you said something, and I started dying laughing in the picture. I was like, I, oh, I, yeah, yeah. I know right. that rack right there. I yeah. know those titties anywhere. <laughs> so have you dated someone? And this is a big one because some people say you can't, and a lot of people say you can. And go back to just being friends after you date them. And for it to be then platonic, completely. Oh, no, there's, no, there's no way. I mean, friends as in... Passing by friends, yes. Friends as in going to your house. Listen, I'm going to just be real. Like, if, if a man smashed one time and he go to your house and y'all, this, this, it doesn't change. Like, maybe I might be wrong. It didn't change for me. Put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so you went like, back a couple times and you smashed? Yeah, like, you know, that, that's just life. Like, I, I don't How know. Maybe that's some dudes platonic. in the game. That's not platonic. No, but I'm, I'm saying that it. I don't think that it's... You don't think it's possible? Oh, yeah, I don't think it's possible. But, don't but you, maybe that was just So you can't situation. control it? If you guys are just friends, it's just friends. You're supposed to keep it in your pants. I mean, you can control it, but it just never never got control. I did it. I, I'm friends with someone that I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I'm friends with someone that I dated. And it's not like we see each other all the time. Actually, I, I think I only see him if like I'm downtown or whatever. And I oh, am yeah. open with my boyfriend about it. I think it's really important to stay open with whoever you're dating if you're in a relationship. Like, I do speak to this person. I'm cool with this person. 
But I don't think I would, it wouldn't be respectful to see him all the time. That's yeah. probably not conducive either to be like, oh, I'm going to hang out with you or go on vacations together. Oh, no, hell no. That wouldn't yeah, work. You... <laughs> <laughs> Get my ass beat. Yeah. Chopped. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. So you don't, it's possible or not possible? For you, it isn't. I'm saying that, I'm saying to see someone in a like a setting where it's just used to, I don't think it's possible. To see somebody that you're downtown and that there's no kind of like temptation and it's just, you know. It can't be, it can't be yeah, like no temptation. Way, yeah, there's like, there's freaking 400 people in the club. There's always you can't a bathroom. Do, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you got to take it there. Like you have right, to right. initiate that conversation to try to like get it I there. Like I said, it's, yeah. it's not, you don't fall on it. Yeah, like it's not, you know, so I don't, I don't think I've seen girls and she's met girls that, I've hooked up with before and and she knows yeah and I let it be known right. I let it be known and I'm like yo such and such was in town da 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 they stopped by the club or you know or right. they were trying to stop by the club because it could also be flipped in a way where if me and you hypothetically speaking hooked up and then you know whatever and then we become friends and I'm like you know, oh, Ricky, I'm in town, or I want to go out tonight, you hit me up, I'm like, yo, come to such and such club, right. I'm here. You can paint a picture to somebody else. Them that, screenshots. Yeah, that'll Ooh. make it seem like it was something that n fucking and nowhere you, near. Definitely, you have to be careful. Yeah, about. nowhere near of what it could be, but that little, like, oh, well, if you're coming out, I'm at tear, come through, I got you. That can be, you know, flipped in a hundred. Yeah, that can that yeah. can be like look crazy. That's the worst like, text messages because you can flip those quick. Yeah, super so, fast. You know, you just always gotta be careful on, and what you say and what you text and you know, especially in a relationship, just keep it yeah. open. Communication. Yeah, I say it all the time. Communication. If you don't communicate, it's going down the drain because sure. it's gonna look something. What about the friend zone? You ever been friend zone? Messy. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I start talking, then you're like, damn, this nigga cocky. Oh, <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ricky, the <laughs> hot shit, Ricky. No, nah, okay. see, that's why I said if I start, like, I don't even know how to, I'm going to pass on this one. I get one pass. <laughs> This I don't is, get a pass. No, there's, there's no, no passes. Pass. Shit, motherfucking 30. We, we, uh -uh, no passes. Have you been friend, do you think you've ever been friend zoned? Um, Put it this way, I've never put myself in a situation to be friends on. The way I'll explain that is if I don't feel that it's being reciprocated, if I'm like in this girl's face and she's like not in my face the same way I'm in her face, like you could tell, like right. if you standing somewhere and a girl's looking at you, she's giving you that look, or vice versa, a man looking at you, he's giving you that look, right? So that's being reciprocated. Now you kind of know that there's something there. Right. For, you know, I'm not the type to just see something that I like and then say, I'm going to walk straight over there and go in. So, <laughs> do you understand? My chances are a lot better when I know that, you know, the girls across the bar, like, she done made eye contact like four times already. To me, that makes the door open for me to go in. So then at that point, there's really no friend zone because she's, invi to me, she's, she's inviting me in to that space for it to go to another level. Have you friend zone, girls? Oh, 100%. I don't want you friend zone. We're not gonna say. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Why would you even say that? I don't think she listens. Honestly, <laughs> she's nice though. She's a good-looking woman. <laughs> you know, I, I give credit. She's a good-looking woman. It's just you know, <laughs> she was swinging for the fence, and I was like, oh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No, Bro, that I mean, all I mean, has to do. That was. You listen to this one episode. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you? Yeah, yeah, no. Like, I, I, I would say you're a very attractive woman. You know, lose my guy. Right. Like, you were just. Be, I, you yeah. did say you were trying to be respectful. Yeah. Lose my guy. Like that. I don't know how true that was. Yeah. But you were trying to keep it respectful. <laughs> nah. Yeah. I get credit Not, credit due. She's a good looking woman. Right. So you. Because my thing is, I feel like some guys stay in that friend zone, hoping for the day that they get the chance. Well, don't get it twisted. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, so it's true. Yeah, that's yeah. Cause you're not losing nothing as a man. So you've I've been, been in around. The friend zone. No, no, no. I've never attempted to go into a space where I get put in the friend zone. Now, if I'm cool with that person and I'm thinking, damn, it'd be nice, but I'm not. I'm not gonna play myself because I don't feel like it's there. You know what I'm saying? So then maybe later on it's come around. So you're waiting for the opportunity. Wait, so you so waiting for the welcoming like you know like <laughs> like hey what's up yeah exactly like i won't put myself in a situation where i'm vulnerable for to the, go what you doing at one o'clock in the morning no nah, not that but just for? any kind of <laughs> so you're you afraid know, of rejection yeah like i and you know what i'm saying and i ain't gonna let him be out here like you know oh he tried to holler at me last week da, 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 you know and, and go 
tell their little friends and I look crazy, you know what I'm saying? So, uh uh-uh. I have to feel that, like, I know we good for me to... So you really are terrified of that friend zone? I don't think I'm terrified of friends. zone. I think I'm more terrified of the rejection. rejection. Yeah, that, like... That'll hurt a man's pride. Some guys don't care. They there's a numbers game to them. You shoot a hundred times, hopefully they're gonna make one <laughs> shot. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm not <laughs> I'm strategic with it. Like you have to make sure when you go it hits. Yeah, like that's it. Like, yeah. See, mo- I feel like most guys like they do sit there and in a way when you explain it, you do, you don't mind, you might not call it the friend zone, but you'll stay cool and with an yeah. arm's length until the day that she gives you that extra pass. Yeah. So when you say friend zone, I'm thinking that like you Somebody verbally had to tell me, like, no, yeah, yeah. no, no. Yeah, I got a Just, bunch of friends that I, I'm like, oh, you know, when I was single, I'd be looking at her like, damn, she's fine. Thank you for adding that in there when you were single. Yeah, you got to make sure they understand that, you know. <laughs> I got a bunch of friends that, you know, when you look and be like, oh, wow, you know what I'm saying? That would have been nice or whatever, you know. And then she stays around, comes and gets drinks, and it's like, it can go a couple of months. So you'll stay cool with them, texting, yeah, cool. How are you? You good? Passing by, like, just cool. Yeah. And, and then, you know, that also builds the rapport with them and see what kind of person you are because I've, always been told like people that don't know me they'll first be like yo I always had this perception of you perception of you and what type of guy you are and I was like you know when you finally get to open up to them I'm like well what gave you that what made you think that because all you basically did was see me stand either at the bar or in the DJ booth like where where at what point in life did you say well this is why I think this is because of him cuz you only right. you ain't never seen me outside you ain't never seen the charity work I've done you never seen me graduate from college right. you ain't never seen none of that stuff cuz I don't really put it on social media so you're taking that 5 minutes of you what you saw me at the bar and say oh he's like this or he's like that you know what I'm saying yeah cuz I mean I can say for myself as many years as I've known you the only people that I know that you've been with and it's because I know them, and none of it was really publicized. Yeah. It was never until, I think, well, now that you have the baby, and it's not even out there like that. And I know yeah. it's because of the platform that you have. Well, that was the situation that I had with the girl that I initially spoke to you about mm-hmm. um, that was the model. When she, me and her got into it, like, it, we kind of got into a social media back and forth thing, which was dumb on my behalf because her social media was popping. Yeah, like, she was out there. Like, she was... You know, Damn, who is, I want to know who this girl yeah, is now. I, I, I'm I think her. I know. You think you know? Damn, write it down for me. Write it down <laughs> for me. I think she knows that we had this oh, conversation. But hold on, write it, way, I just, we're not going to say it. Just yeah. write it down for me right now. No, no, no. Don't even <laughs> just, put that in her phone. I, no, I, I just want to know who it is. <laughs> yeah, so when that happened, she was always putting it on social media. So at that point, I was like, putting okay. Putting you on social media? Yeah. Oh. You know, like back and forth. So then and I, you didn't like that? I didn't have a problem with it. What I didn't like is that when you see girls one week they have a boyfriend and the next week they're talking about a single when we would have a problem it would be all on social media she'd go to God and she can do all good by herself well you know you know I'm not gonna talk bad because I always still to this day you know if she ever needed help she was in a point in my life where I needed help bad and she was there so you know that girl is always good with me but you know it was I was not used to that whole oh wow let's put everything on social media and that on my son right now, on my son right now, I, there was a year I didn't walk. I don't think I knew you that year. This yeah. is, we, we taking it back like eight, nine years ago. No, I, I didn't yet. walk. For 11 months, I didn't walk. Imagine all the shit that I got going on, I couldn't walk, right? I tore my Achilles back to back twice, so I didn't walk. She had started putting us on social media. I was at her house for like a week straight. And like, let's just say it was a Monday, so on a Tuesday, uh, on a Tuesday, I'm there. On a Wednesday, there. On a Thursday, there. Somebody emails her and says, "Yo, I was with your man last night. I just want to let you know." Da da da. She flips out on me. You can't even walk. She flips out on me because oh, something might be true. I be, I said, when did I go to the girl's <laughs> house? I been I can't even walk. I've been laying in your bed for a week straight. Like, what are you talking about? And it got into a huge fight. But you know, she felt like oh, if there's you know a little smoke, there might be fire. Blah blah. blah. Oh. But that was one of the reasons that, and there was nothing there. It was one of the reasons that I didn't like putting stuff on social media. And I was like, you know what? Social media is tricky. I stopped yeah. that shit. Uh, yeah, it's like there's it's, cameos here and there, but yeah. about the relationship, it's it's private. Yeah. There's no reason they're putting it up there. And you know what it is that people don't want to see somebody else happy. Yeah. You know what yes. I'm saying? Like, I know exactly, if I had to guess, I knew who sent those emails mm-hmm. and were talking crazy because I had left a relationship 
to go into another relationship. Right. And it wasn't a real relationship, but it, you know, we were seeing each around. other. Yeah, we were seeing each other, and then I got serious all of a sudden. And ooh, that girl that, was like, ooh, yeah. You just get butt hurt oh, about yeah. that. So, oh, my God. So Don't now, say they was pregnant, had an abortion, we're about yeah. to get married, you yeah, had a exactly, ring. Exactly, all that. All so, that. And he still wants me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so much easier just to, you know, separate the two and, you know, there's no drama. Yeah. Well, since I know you're, like, short on time, we're, I have um, yeah, a, a segment. More. Yeah. It's called unsolicited advice. But this time it's solicited because they did ask for it. So usually we give people advice that don't even fucking ask for it. We mm-hmm. find it, we see it, and we want to. I want to tell them what the fuck I think. Yeah. <laughs> and they better listen. But this time we have a couple that um, that did ask. So I'm going to read you what she says. Um, the topic is, or the title, Am I Tripping? Hmm. If you're asking, you probably yeah. are. <laughs> <laughs> I've been dating my boyfriend for about eight months. When we first started dating, I noticed that he texts with other females pretty often. So I asked about them, and he told me they were just his friends. I'm working on trust, so I decided to just accept what he told me. A few weeks ago, he told me he was going to a birthday dinner for one of, the girl, one of these girls. I was annoyed, but decided not to say anything because I, want to, I didn't want to have a fight with him before he went to the dinner. The next day, we talked about it more, and he said he didn't invite me because it was a small, intimate dinner, and people weren't really bringing their significant others. Fast forward to the other day, I'm on Instagram, Mm -hmm. and I come across a group picture from a birthday dinner. I love the fact that she said come across. Yeah. Just, you know. I was searching like a motherfucker. It took me almost three hours to find this shit, but I found it. (laughs) (laughs) So she finds the picture from the birthday dinner. One of his homeboys had his girl there, and they just started dating. On top of that, I see that the quote-unquote friend in the picture, and she's a bad bitch. Should I be worried that my man is not introducing me to his female friends? I think it's, it means he's fucking them. Am I tripping or am I just overreacting? Uh, <laughs> I think the she, bro code wants me to say. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck the bro code right now. No, nah, You um, don't even know this guy. Nah, you know, I mean, shit, yo. He's, An intimate dinner? Yeah, like, especially if somebody else is there. Like, something's there. I'm not, you know, again... Maybe there's, you know... Maybe he was smoke. just paying for the dinner. And he didn't want his girl to find out. Uh, now, they've only been dating for eight months. Is eight months a long time? I mean, you, I don't know. Maybe he... So you gotta... There's always two sides of the story. Right. He, he might just be smashing it, and she might be thinking they, they together. I, you know, I don't know the whole story. I'm just being real, because... Well, from what we know, do you think he's fucking him? I think there's something there. I think there's something there that he doesn't want. I mean, it's, it's that he doesn't uh, want her to know. Yeah, it's it makes apparent. Sense. Like, you know, hey, I didn't want to bring you here. You know, like, why, motherfucker? Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, He's like, just I think, yeah. baby girl, leave. You are one of many. Yeah, clearly. I wouldn't say maybe, leave. Just I just find out more information. You know, like, look, man. He's it's dismissing kinda, it though. He's like, it's just friends. We're just friends. Yeah, but nah, at that, that point, like, maybe we should all go hang out. I would ask why. I'd be like, so why did, you know, yeah. he take his girl and why couldn't he take me? Like, right. why? Why? I have a feeling she's white. Huh? This gotta be a white girl. Because I'll be damned if one of us Spanish girls, you gonna tell me yeah. that you can't take me? There's no yeah. dinner. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna eat this hot dog that yeah. I'm gonna bowl for you right now. <laughs> There's no food for you. With no bread. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, just ketchup. Hey, no, That's fuck the ketchup, dinner. you get yeah. mustard. Yeah. <laughs> Nasty. Yeah. yeah, no, and then she's a cute friend too. That's another thing I had discussions. It's like, oh, well, you can be friends with a girl if she's ugly. Some guys were like, oh, if she's ugly, it's cool, but if she's cute, uh, nah, you can't keep it. But you said yourself that if she were to, if you had a female friend and if she were to say, hey, WYD at one o'clock in the morning, you sliding through. If you're single. Yeah, no. If I was single and there was a situation that, you know, I wanted, you know, for it to progress, I'm going to go say hello. <laughs> <laughs> I want in the morning. What's up? You need me to change the plumbing, pipe yeah. you down a little bit? <laughs> yeah, you know? What's, what's the matter? Yeah, no. Honey, um, you're not tripping. He's cheating. See, and I don't want to say that because... You bro know, code. I, no, not even bro code. It's just like, I'm trying to put myself in that situation and think, like, why would I... Like, if there's a girl that I'm not messing with, why would I not want my girl to meet her? I can't think of a legit reason as to why. So that's what makes me think, like, this guy has to be doing something. Right. You can't just automatically assume he's fucking. Maybe he want to fuck. Maybe he want to, you know, try to holler at her. And so it has something to do with, with, yeah, with screwing her. I think, it, it, you know, there's something there. You he's know? working on it or he's done it? That's 
Exactly. But you want to lean toward that he's working on it. You don't want to say the man is. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't want to say yeah, that man is I, already you know, doing I'm not her. Going, I'm not going. You know, I don't know that man's situation. So you know. All right. I, so not leave him, just talk about it. Yeah, it's like yo, I think he's gonna up. keep lying. Yeah. There's no reason. It's only been eight months. Find you a new one. I mean, find a new you, one. You could do that, but you, you also you know do some research. She you did. Know? She found a picture. That's one. Like and do that more took research. Three hours. Yeah. <laughs> she has to take three days. Yeah. She came three across days. a picture. Came, right. Came across <laughs> it. Right. Yeah. No, you gotta you know maybe do some more investigation and see what's going on, and then you know, at that point, then you you know you assess everything and say, all right, well, this shit ain't worth my time. You know what I'm saying? If that's what you want to do, and you put the ultimatum, you know? Okay, listen, I let you slide. You want to have a friend? You want to have a good, it was a nice dinner? You enjoy yourself? All right. <laughs> the next one, motherfucker, that's, that's it. Ain't no more fucking yeah. dinners. Yeah. No more dinners yeah. unless I'm there. Tell me what time I got to be dressed for the next one. That's it. <laughs> Shit. And then he says right. no, then, you know. Then cut it off. Yeah. So give him one more chance. Yeah. One more chance. Yeah, for sure. So you're here like, baby, give me one more chance. Yeah. That's because you want chances. <laughs> nah, I'm just saying. I genuinely it's say that because. Like, oh, wait, no. Nah, I just genuinely say it because you know I feel bad for the dude. He might not, you know. Let's do this one. There's another one. So she says she's a selfish romantic. <laughs> this bitch is crazy. I started cheating on my boyfriends in college. Wow. That's how it started. <laughs> and she says boyfriends. And it's a habit that has followed me into adulthood. It started out with one-time hookups and escalated into full-on affairs. I always had uh, the comfort of a loving boyfriend while the other man could nourish unfed parts of me. My interest in art, my inner social butterfly, my sense of adventure. It's weird. I remember fantasizing about infidelity when I was younger. Wow. But <laughs> Some people live like that. Right. Um, Remind she, me to tell you a couple that I know. It's oh, yes. Tell me about crazy. that. It says, um, when I was younger, but I've always craved monogamy. I find ways to rationalize his extremely selfish behavior. What they won't know won't hurt them. I've even called it feminist act. In other words, I'm delusional. I'm currently in one of those situations. I feel, but it feels harder than before. My current boyfriend I get along with so well. We have so much fun together, laugh at the same things, and he really loves and cares about me. We're on the same page about almost everything. But I've noticed some parts of him that I don't love. He can be negative, sometimes short-tempered, pretty unmotivated, and antisocial. I suppose there are things that have led me to cheating on him, Although I love him. The guy I'm cheating on him with is also a great guy, but I don't feel the same comfort, ease, and love with him as I do with my boyfriend. He checks a lot of my required boxes. He's passionate, social, and friendly. But girl, let me tell you, but the, but girl, tell me if I should leave my loving, supportive, com compatible boyfriend for someone who might not even be worth it. I don't know what to do. On the one hand, I love my boyfriend, but on the other one, I'm literally just cheating on him. Who do I choose? That's insane. Yeah. And she, you know, it, it, the way I interpreted all that, even if she did choose the side piece, she's taking gonna, a cheat on him. Yeah, you you she's gonna have it for a little bit, and then she's gonna find the the new side piece, like because right. that's her way of living. So like, I feel like she's in denial. There are other types of relationships. There are open relationships that people are yeah. totally cool with. Like, it's fucked up. Yeah, you're fucking selfish, and you just yeah. leave this guy alone. If he wants to be monogamous, leave him alone. Look for a polyam. Excuse me, a polyamorous relationship, an open relationship, or just be out there and tell these niggas you a hoe. A girl never say that, but <laughs> they will. Have you not ever heard of horrible decisions? They cool with it. <laughs> I no. mean, I guess you know it's it's crazy because there's it's more of a metaphor, but yeah, there's a underground website. And don't ask me how I know this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just <So> we <laughs> <laughs> uh, No, I have been invited to these. Is an underground like. The sex parties? Yeah, but they're not you like... You to a sex party? No, I, I haven't. Go to I, one. I promise you on my wanna, I, No, I want to go to one. I, I haven't been, but I there's... They have these events here in, in Orlando? Orlando, and I've been invited numerous times, and I've thought about it just to see what it's like to, you know, walk in there. One, I'm like, you know... I don't want they're like that's Ricky like <laughs> no, uh -uh, uh -uh. But no those parties you can't have phones well that's what I found out yes you can't I, have phones again that's not because I was in there that was just <laughs> <laughs> someone told them that yeah that, someone they told me that I've been you. invited and it's crazy how open these people are mm -hmm. and so there's no reason for that girl to be going through all that because these people out here legitimately will just walk up to you and so the people that have invited me to that it's been the craziest situation where 
I'm in the club. They've come from that party and come to my party, Ooh, and it's up. and it's a two couples. But it's like a swingers club, or, or it's like not a, a club. It's an event, and the event is done in different locations, right. and it's not publicized at all. You have to pay a certain amount to be. You're part of like a community. Yeah, to be in that community, and you know what time it is, oh, well, shit, and they'll I send need you that membership. Yeah, they'll send you information <laughs> as to where the next meetup is at, and you know it. Kind they kind of like. Try to recruit you? Like, I don't know. Like, oh, you, oh so you were recruited? Yeah, and then oh, I felt like no. I was being recruited. Because no, listen. Ricky, he's a sex symbol. No. Ricky out here like they want, they want this dick. Well, I mean, they want a dick. I mean, they, they legitimately tell you, like, it's crazy because it's a, it's a, um, like the last time they came to party me. This, this is the truest story I could ever tell you, my, on uh, my son. There's three couples. And yo, your son all was there. born and that's it. Every, every time, every time, time that's, that's, that's the only way anybody's gonna believe me. Like, yo, this is like real, but some people won't For the past be like, oh, he's making that up. He's making that up. So you got one girl that sat there and they're, you know, we're all like drinking and, and partying and one girl just keeps showing her tits. <laughs> and and she thinks it's cute. Her at husband's your party. right there. At me. Fuck the party. <laughs> we're standing in a little circle and she keeps showing her titties like that, like lifting her shirt up and I'm just, and no her bra. husband's right there. Her husband's right there. Like no flesh? bra. Flesh. So you went Brown to the party. No, no, this is, this is they the... left their party to come to my party. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So then they start talking and the way they start talking was like, you know, if you want to fuck her right now, all you got to do is tell her she likes you. And I'm like, her husband? Is it? No, the other girl that's okay. with them. And I'm like, no. Oh, it's a stop. party in your party. Yeah. They're having a yeah. party. Yeah, like they're party. having, we're having our own party. <laughs> Nobody else matters at this point because I'm listening to all this shit that's going down. And I'm like, is this real? Because I've never heard of that whole scenario that they got going on. But it's a true Damn. underground website that, that has these parties. And so now I got one one of the wives like dancing on me nonstop. The other one's showing me the titties. And the husbands are just like, yeah, like partying with their hands in the air. Like, who wants to shot? Who wants to shot? And I'm like, yo, this shit ain't real. Like, this, is this <laughs> like this is this is it's what y'all do? Yeah. And it, so to bring it all back, the girl that she needs to fucking go to that website, yo. <laughs> like, you, we stop your madness her. and just. We yeah. need to go ahead and email her and give yeah. her the contact number of that husband and wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she can. Like, go in there and, and go to those parties and you'll get every fucking fetish you want because they tell me they do everything in there. And it's like legitimately. They, oh, my God. Would you go? With your no, girl? I didn't. Yeah, you I didn't. Your... I've been offered while I was single and yeah, while I was all in a relationship. Let's all, let's all go. No, you go. Yeah. I'm you, you let me know. Just send me the info. I'll give you the contact number and whatever you guys and don't be surprised if you try to fuck you <laughs> the girl that's what you have to yeah, go there like, for they, they get wild and, and on, on everything I, I never went but it was so um, how you say intriguing to hear everything that was going on like wow like really like you know maybe somebody like yo my girl's feeling you know maybe you should go talk to her no uh, you know she likes you you can go fuck right now if you want right now I, I'm like Oh, that's how y'all work? Like, God dang. Damn. That's crazy, yeah. Yeah, she definitely needs to go ahead of some of those um, those clubs. Yeah. I, them people. I will tell you guys those the name of Those are called like, more like the swingers clubs. Well, there's swingers, and then there's that club where they were telling me the party where, you know, there's there's certain rules as in, obviously, one, no phone. No phones. But two, um... You know, if you leave the door open, that means anybody's welcome to come in. If you if you leave, like, yeah, like, Ooh. just, like, that kind of deal, yeah. Oh, so, like, it's open and you get in and down with somebody else and somebody else can come in? Yeah, like, it's a whole nother that's, world. Like That's very sexual, and this is, liberated people. I, the reason why I'm so informed on this is because I had my mouth wide open when, you know. Wait a minute, you know, pause. Like, uh, yeah. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got me. <laughs> my jaw dropped when, you know, I'm standing there and the girl lifts up her shirt and it's like they're explaining how this whole situation works and then she comes up and the other girl's like yo you know like it's cool like it's cool like it's cool if y'all uh, like if so she's like making it take... seem like you want to go take a shot together go ahead where were you supposed to go take her at i didn't ask i, I just was just you didn't like, motor both the titties nah uh -uh. Damn, uh -uh. she was a little like she was a little doña but you know <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> Nah, she, you know, I'll give Were it to her. Were they so perky? Yeah, she had them done. It was, she was right, you oh, know. It was perky. Everybody else was patting me on the back like, yo, you the fucking man, yo. You got, <laughs> got bitches showing titties in the club. Like. And you're like, chill, she be my grandma. Yeah. <laughs> nah, 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 she wasn't that old now. Nah. Uh, she wasn't that old, but, you know, 
It's just a little. She was out. You know what I'm saying? She was out of your age range. Yeah. You know, you know I know you like them right out of high school. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. They're still legal. Yeah. No, <laughs> that's not true, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> as long as they're legal. No, I'll, my my thing is 21 and up regardless. My cousin say as long as they can cross the road, they're old enough to get oh, hit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh horrible. <laughs> yeah, no, 21 and up. Is that how crazy that look? I, you know, I'm working in the club, and then so they gotta <laughs> the shorty drunk. got... X on her hand oh, while I'm over here popping a bottle. Like, that yeah. is so embarrassing. Yeah. When I see it now, no, I'm like, well, I remember the days when I had that X in my hand. Yeah, never. And I like, thought I was a shit. Yeah. With that, like, you I'm never had an X in my hand. I was lying fake tell. IDs. Walking in there with my damn passport. Wristband, please. <laughs> All the time. Hey, it worked. Hey, you probably, you probably thought she was 21 when she was like 12. <laughs> anyway so those are the two ones that i have and then i have this other um segment which is where i have i do a little shit talk to some people so uh, keeping it together with this whole platonic thing when i started working at my job you said like it's cool but some men think just because they see you and you you're the one color person i'm an accountant so where i am really <laughs> There's not too many of us in there. And yeah. I, I probably don't belong in there myself. Gotcha. So I'm in there. There's this one black guy. He's in a different department. I don't know what department he was in. But he comes in. Every time he would see me, it was like, what's up? Hi. Yeah. Pass by again. Like, how you doing? Nigga, I'm working. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. So he would keep passing by and saying certain things to me. And my thing to him was like, bro, just because I'm here yeah. and I'm the only color girl don't mean that I like you. Yeah. Just because you think you're that nigga doesn't yeah. mean I want you. So dudes see a girl sometimes and they're like, oh, like she might be a little cute. You know, she's going to want me. Let me don't try that kind of shit with us. Like, yeah. leave it. I feel like that's so immature. You haven't even spoken to me. You don't know my name. You don't know what I like. You don't even know how I talk because yeah. I try not to look up at you. Yeah. So homie just got um fired. And I didn't even know, I didn't notice he got fired until I realized that he's not passing by my desk anymore because he had no reason to pass by my goddamn desk. Yeah. He was just passing by to see if I had a banana in my desk. You know, yeah. I'm sure he probably wants to see me eat it. You're not going to see me eat this goddamn <laughs> banana. Like, it's not going to happen. But my thing is, for every dude that thinks out there, maybe more in the corporate world or I guess it could happen out, you see a girl and you feel like just because one, y'all the only two color folks in the area, don't mean that we we gonna hook up. No, yeah, of course. Like, it's just just leave me the fuck alone. I want dudes to just back up. Yeah. I don't have to tell you I got a man for you for you to get the point. Yeah. I don't want you. I friend zoned you. Yeah. I kind of blocked this one out yeah. my whole existence. But when we friend zone you, stay in a friend zone. Yeah. And don't wait for the day. Like don't be there hoping in one day because I do have friends too that, that I won't even call them friends, but dudes that I know are waiting for the day. Yeah. That you're yeah, me and my boyfriend. Break what does up. that cost a man? Nothing. What does it cost a man to sit around and wait? Yelling no, shit. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's why they'll do it. Yeah. I get it. Yelling shit. <laughs> <You're so laughs> At all. I just, it, it just sucks. They always throw these subliminals. Like, what's up? How you doing? How's you and your boyfriend doing? I thought it was just girls that did that. Yeah. How's your, I seen your little girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Y'all niggas do that too. How's your, how you, how you and your man doing? That's none of your business. Don't I mean, worry about you know, it. That's, that, that's what we call a heat check. You trying to see if they still together? Is it hot to put the hand on the fire? If it's, if it's still hot, I ain't going that way. Yeah, yeah. yo, I, I never heard of that. Me one. neither. Yeah. Have you check. done that one? Um, no, nah, honestly, uh, uh-uh. uh, uh-uh. no, Mm-mm. never. I don't think I've. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I can honestly say, nah, I, I ain't. To me, bringing another man up when you're trying to have a conversation with a woman that's yeah, probably one of the corny. weakest things that you should ever corny. do as a man like you oh yeah don't hang around him like I, I've heard people tell me like oh they said that about him like yo why would if you have the opportunity to grab this girl's attention and that's what you're gonna use another man to get her attention right. you already halfway no. lost the battle you're you know right. what I'm saying yeah. no, you already lost you yeah. like, put your white flag up yeah, I hate when like, people like oh what's up with your man yo you wanna suck that nigga's dick too like get the fuck <laughs> off his dick <laughs> Exactly, you, like seriously. Yo, no, I, I tell that's that. what it feels like. You do say that. Hop off. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, anyways, Ricky, I really, seriously, thank you for coming oh, on. No, I had a good time. This is so much fun. Um, again, it's a Shut Up Dirty podcast. You guys can find us on. It's not iTunes. It's Apple Podcast. You can go on there, subscribe, rate us. It really does help. We just got off the top charts. Oh, hey. oh, 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 oh. Um, we're also on Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, and iHeartRadio. We're waiting on Spotify. They're bougie. Gotcha. Making me wait. But go ahead and rate and subscribe whenever you get a chance. And that's it. That's our episode. Thank uh, you. Not yet. Thank Hold you. up. I got to oh. plug my stuff. Yes. So, ladies yeah, and gentlemen, um, I'm 
at Ricky Padilla on Instagram. Yes. Uh, you can hit me up. Uh, I have a new album that I did with Frankie Negron. We are 10 songs Fam. in. Yeah. Uh, the new single is called Estás Sin Ti. Uh, the second single is called Bad Habits. Look it up. Frankie Negron. Um, they're both in English and in Spanish. Uh, what else? What else, what else, you what sponsored else? by my way. You didn't sponsored bring it again. Yeah. Yeah. How you sponsored gonna, by Belvedere. Managed by Luan James. You do. Um, We're going to get him on here. Part He's owner, younger, though. Yeah, part owner of Ono Nightclub, part owner of Novelty Nightclub. He got uh, money. No, no. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you can catch me on Instagram at Ricky Padilla. Say what's up, and make sure you go check out the new single "Estal Sin Ti" featuring Frankie Negron. It's my new joint. We'll add, we'll add in a little snippet of it at the end of it. There here we go. I like that. All righty, bye guys. Bye. You can put. Just stand there and watch my heart bleed